Hey guys, this is Barry Don again. I just wanted to weigh in on the Coney 2012 video that's circulating the web today. Um, uh, yesterday, uh, I did. I had spoken on this subject on YouTube and on a, a blog a couple of years ago, and those those went viral. So I wanted to just address some of the comments and some of the things that have changed in the past couple of years uh, in regards to this particular matter. Uh, first of all, I want to start off by saying um, the circumstances. Uh, for the Akoli people as they faced under not only uh, Joseph Kony's LRA, but also the Ugandan government, both of which have, have uh, been doing child kidnappings, using child soldiers, uh, conducting rapes, and all manner of human rights abuses. Um, so I have the utmost sympathy for them, uh, I, and that's the reason why I'm spreading the word about the danger of the message of invisible children. Invisible Children is promoting a military solution to a problem that has pretty much wound down and is almost over. Uh, Foreign Policy Magazine and other uh, mainstream news sources have said that they believe that it is irresponsible that Invisible Children is giving the impression that the uh, conflict has not been winding down, that the LRA has not been driven out of Uganda, that uh, Joseph Kony had not been driven into hiding, and the LRA has functionally become a very small group uh, operating out of the Congo, the CAR, uh, and Sudan, uh, and they're, they're only attributed, for example, 26 fatalities uh, were attributed to the LRA in the past year in the Congo. And while 26 lives lost is serious, it's not uh, an international human, humanitarian crisis or a genocide that involves sending in more troops to shoot more people. That is just going to increase and ramp up the number of fatalities. And it's important to point out the U.S. military came in and, and suggested the Ugandan government and gave them a plan and helped train and advise them and came with and, and started another attack which failed which inspired the LRA to kill 900 civilians. So, that, so sometimes our intervention uh, takes peaceful situations and reignites conflict and in the process causes massive civilian loss of life. So it's important to consider the uh, unintended consequences of U.S. military intervention into Uganda, the Sudan, uh, which includes the Darfur region, uh, CAR, and the Congo. I urge against this for a number of reasons. First of all, this has been a long-held target of the neoconservatives uh, particularly given that they want to go in there and, uh, and take the oil and, uh, and uranium fields in Uganda, southern Uganda and the Sudan and uh, get contracts for those. China has been moving in and securing resource contracts in some of these areas. And that's one of the geopolitical reasons why, uh, why the military, uh, they want to put the military in there to, to sort of position against them. Uh, I don't agree that this is the proper use of our U.S. military. I think it should be here to defend America and that it should be used very carefully only in situations where we know for a fact we're defending ourselves and we're not going to, you know, uh, possibly kill civilians and, and where, where the goal ultimately serves American interests. And I, I don't say that from the standpoint of uh, because I don't care about other people. I'm just saying it doesn't work. When you have a civil war between two sides and you have another group come in with machine guns in a different language and they look differently, some of the locals get confused and they don't know which side that guy's on. They see him come with a gun and they might do something violent towards him. And then our, our, so our troops are required to return fire in order to protect themselves. In that case, you've got an innocent civilian killed. Their family will probably return to terrorism, might even join a, a terrorist group. And these are the kind of things that happen when we get involved in these other countries. And it's been going on for a long time, and the, uh, and the American people are sick of it and tired of it. And I think a lot of the people who support Invisible Children don't realize that, the, that basically Invisible Children is using Joseph Kony much in the same way that George W. Bush used weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Joseph Kony is essentially the physical manifestation of the fear of weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. And it's trying to drive us into a new war in Uganda, the Sudan, Darfur, etc. So I just really urge everyone to slow down. And, and yes, it's horrible what's going on in Africa and some of these places where governments have gone completely out of control and they're killing people. And sometimes the revolutionary groups that rise up to stop the governments wind up doing the same thing. And civil wars go on for years and children and families die. And this is a horrible thing. But the most important thing we can do to spread our message and values is to send aid through private charity means and uh, you know our own selves or to go over there and help out. But my point is, is that sending the U.S. military you know, uh, Invisible Children is not going to get to run the operation. Obviously, it will be run by the same people who run the other military operations. And humanitarian uh, assistance of this type, uh, of the military kind, has been proven to fail time and time again. And each time has caused uh, worse in the conflicts and made things more confusing. I have a friend who was shot several times in the Somali conflict that, that you saw depicted on TV in Black Hawk Down. So I would just really urge everyone against uh, supporting Invisible Children. Uh, they don't send very much aid to, to any country. Most of their money goes to, to making films, uh, in my opinion, pro-war propaganda films. 
So I just urge everyone to spread the word, expose invisible children for their pro-war message. Uh, you know, the conflict has, has wound down and is almost over, and we really need to make sure we don't accidentally start a war where there isn't one. And, uh, you know, if their goal is to end this war, then they should have put out a video, Coney 2012, celebrating the successes that have been made in, cre in bringing peace to Uganda and celebrating the lower uh, threat that LRA represents to the world. But since they have not even mentioned that, it's clear that their, their goal is to escalate this conflict and start a new war. And I'll, I'll in closing, uh, show and highlight and point out, uh, particularly the audio, but as you probably can't see, but the audio of the part where on um, Coney 2012, Michael and his band of merry hipsters are cheering the launch of a new war. And what I was told would never happen suddenly became possible. In furtherance of the Congress's stated policy, I have authorized a small number of U.S. forces to deploy to Central Africa to provide assistance to regional forces that are working toward the removal of Joseph Kony from the battlefield. Sincerely, Barack Obama. <laughs> And just like that, Invisible Children cheers the launch of a new war. Please stop Invisible Children before it's too late.